Welcome, welcome back, I'm any help at C squared. In this example, we're going to simplify a trigonometric expression. They said here, using only the sine and cosine. So in other words, yeah, tangent, which you see is part of this trigonometric expression, and cosecant, right? So we're going to change them in sines and cosines, right? Uh, so let's take a look here what we, they want us to do. So we have 1 plus tangent squared over cosecant square. All right, so what you're going to do here, based on what they said, we're going to change tangent in sine over cosine. And since it's tangent squared, is going to be sine squared over cosine squared, and cosecant is going to be uh, 1 over sine squared. Okay. So what can we do now? We can change that one in cosine squared over cosine squared, right? So we can add uh, uh, two parts that uh, are part of the denominator. One. Okay, and then we have cosine squared, the common denominator for the numerator of the complex fraction. And here on top of this numerator, have cosine squared plus sine squared. And here you have 1 over sine squared. So what do we notice here is This guy, which is a Pythagorean identity, that is 1. So again, we're going to end up with 1 over cosine squared over 1 over sine squared. Which, changing sine squared over cosine squared. Okay? Which, obviously, finally, is going to be only tangent squared. This is the simplest form of the expression we start from. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and come back and C squared for more help. Thank you.